Hey everybody, in today's lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to create your own custom newsletter using AI, RSS feeds, and Tavly so we can generate something that looks like this. We're gonna be able to choose whatever topic you want. It's gonna to search through tons of articles, intelligently pick out the ones we care about, and then give us the headlines, the source, the summary, and then links to it, you know? So I think this is a, you know, relatively simple workflow that we'll be going through, but one that I think you can get a lot of use out of no matter what sort of subject matter you have, because there's all sorts of newsletters out there. I mean, people literally make a living doing this kind of thing, but it's rare to find one that really hits the mark on what you want. And now with something like this, you can really customize your newsletter to fit your life. So let's jump into it. The way I'm going to run through this one is like how we've done the last few lessons. I have the blueprint in the school. I want you to go there, download the blueprint, come up here to the top right in a new workflow, do import from file. And then we'll kind of go through each of these modules one by one. I'll show you what you have to put in to customize it yourself, how each of them works and what you can do to kind of tinker it on your own to get your unique newsletter. So big picture, what's going on here? Well, we're taking data from two sources. The first one is RSS feeds. Now, what the heck is an RSS feed? This is an RSS feed, right? Very, very scary looking, you know, we got tons of text here. It's a black and white screen. I look like I'm coding. Don't worry. All this is, is it's like a free subscription service to a website. They usually provide it themselves. And it's just like a very bare bones um, display of different articles, their text, what's kind of going on behind the scenes. But for something like our AI workflow, it can very easily take that data and turn it into something that we can use. So we're gonna use a bunch of different RSS feeds. In this example, I have five, but you could have as many as you want. There's tons of them out there. And then we're also gonna use Tavly because not every website out there has an RSS feed or it gives you a free RSS feed, some are behind paywalls, but we're gonna use Tavly to scrape the internet and create our own essentially like RSS feed for these websites for free. So we're gonna do those two things. We get our data, we get our websites, we put them all together and then we eventually shove it into an LLM. In this case, we're using just 4.0 mini, and it's gonna like go through those articles and based on the criteria we give it, figure out what articles make sense, which ones are useful, get rid of duplicates, and again, spit out something that sort of looks like this. So that's how it works. That's what the final product looks like. Now let's start going through it module by module. Now, first thing, the schedule trigger. This thing can be set however you want right now. I think most people would have it wanna go every day at like 8 a.m. in the morning but feel free to mess with that as much as you want. Now, the next thing is the RSS feeds. So for the RSS feeds, we just have some really simple code that's just going into JSON and it's, you know, we're just putting in these URLs. So what you need to do is you have to find RSS feeds on a topic you want, and then just copy paste those URLs into here and replace this. This one is meant right now just for like some AI news. And if you're confused of how the heck do I find RSS feeds? Well, the way I did it is I just went to AI. In this case, I went to um, Google's AI studio. And as a quick aside, if you haven't started using Gemini 2.5, I'm telling you, it's awesome. Like I've been a Claude bandwagoner since day one, but Claude's 2.5 Gemini is really, really good. And it's free. Like I'll put a link to it in the school, um, but it's awesome. Huge context window, but use whichever one you want and just say, hey, I'm looking for five RSS feeds that provide news and updates related to insert your topic here and it should give you a bunch of feeds now just make sure you go through and actually you know like look at them um, because it might give you kind of a bunk link but if it looks like this right um, some black and white nonsense you're on the right path so go to AI ask for your five feeds or however many you want come back in here and just put in your URLs so what's going to happen then is we're going to run through a loop so that we hit every single RSS feed because each feed could have, you know, five, six, seven, eight, quite a few articles. So you, we're going to do a loop. We're just going to do the batch size of one. And then the RSS feed, right, we're just going to be mapping it from the loop. And it's this feed that we put into here, right? So we're mapping that particular URL and it's going to loop through all of them. And you'll see here what the output actually looks like. We get the creator, which is usually the author, the title, the link, the publication date, and then the actual content inside. So then we have this little true or false module. Now this is just checking to see if it was published within the last three days. That's what's going on here. You could edit that out as, as you wish. I just want articles that are like relatively fresh. So I think three days is a good cutoff. You could put this to one if you want. So it checks for that. Um, and then if it's false, if it's too late, it just ignores it. And then it sends it to this merge thing. Now, 
Why do we have a merge? As I mentioned before, not every website has an RSS feed. So in those cases, we're gonna use Tavily. So this is Tavily, yet another AI tool for you to put in your toolkit. Now, I really like it because it's kind of similar to Perplexity, but I think it's a little better when it comes to like API web scraping type stuff. So we're gonna go to Tavily.com. You're gonna create account. And the best part about this is, is it's essentially free. So you get a thousand credits a month for free per email. So you could kind of abuse that a little bit if you wanted to. Once you sign up, you get the API key right up here. You just need to copy it and you're ready to go. In terms of how many credits go for like, is one search, one credit? Kind of not really. Um, roughly, I would say like two to five credits equals a search. So you can still do quite a bit with a thousand credits. Now, when we talk about Tavily, um, there's a lot you can actually play around with. So if you come up here to the left on the API playground, so right here is the query, right? I could be like, hey, AI news, question mark, right? And you can kind of test out how different settings are going to affect the actual output, right? So I just did very basic AI news and it gave me this sort of stuff. But I could change the search topic to be like news or finance. I can change the depth, the max results, the time range, right? That's kind of an important one. Um, as well as some additional fields. And if you scroll all over these little like info things, it'll give you kind of information. So if you're interested in really customizing um, and nailing down a prompt that makes sense for you, come in here and mess around with it um, and fine tune what you're doing. So grab your API key, come back into here, go into the HTTP tab. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down where it says bear. You're gonna put in your API key here. So it will be bear space API key. And you're set. Now down here in kind of this JSON payload, this is where we have the prompt, right? I just wrote latest news headlines about AI, blah, 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 blah. Don't make up any data. Um, of note, when it comes to Tavly, you're limited to 400 characters for your prompt. So just have that in mind. And then you'll see this is just a basic depth search, five results. And then I had to include specific domains. So if there's specific websites you want to be grabbing news from, just put them here inside the included domains. Right now, I just have like Financial Times, Wall Street Journal, that kind of thing, but they could be whatever you want. And you'll see right here what the output kind of looks like. You know, same things, giving me titles, URLs, content, all that good stuff. It even scores it like how good of a response I think it is based on your um, prompt. And then we're gonna merge it with that RSS feeds. Of note, if you had like a ton of websites you wanted to look at, or even kind of like different prompts, you could create multiple Tavly requests and have like two, three, four of these all combining to a merge node. But we'll keep it simple for now. RSS feeds plus Tavly gets merged and then we send it over here. Now what's this code block doing? So if you were paying attention, the data output for Tavly and the data output for RSS feed is a little bit different. So this code, what it's doing is it's taking all that data from these two disparate sources and giving us an output that's consistent and gets rid of duplicates. And it'll look like this. We now have the title, the source, the link, the content, and if possible, the publication date. So that gave us 80 different items. And now we want to take all that and bring it to ChatGPT, bring it to our AI of choice. But we don't want to do it 80 separate times. So we have this aggregate module, right? So we're taking all this data, all these articles we got, and we're just going to put it into one box that we shove into the AI. In this case, all items right into a single list. And we're just going to call that box data. So now that we have the box called data with all our information, we're now going to shove it into this AI chain, which we called summarize articles. I'm using GPT-40 mini here. That's the cheapest model. You don't need a super powerful model to deal with text like this. Feel free to even use something like Gemini 2.0 flash, whatever, but you don't need to pull out the big guns here. No 2.5 Gemini, no Sonnet 3.7, just simple as good. Now we take that data, that box, right? That's going to be our input. Right, make sure we have it defined below and then our system prompt so this system prompt is made with ai summary in mind and then it has like the selection criteria so you need to figure out what articles are important to you and why and that's what you're going to put here right because it can it's going to take sometimes two three four hundred articles depending how many rss feeds you get what's important to you and what do you want to know about that's what you write here now the output requirements, you shouldn't have to change too much. I have 10 to 15 articles. You could play with that as you wish, but headline, source, summary link, all that you shouldn't have to play around with too much. Now, if this is daunting, right? You see all this, you're like, oh man, Chase, I don't know if I can go through and like do all this. Do what I did, 
So this whole workflow is one I actually made for a client and it was for an entirely different, you know, set of stuff he was looking at. And I was like, okay, well, I want to do less than showing off all this stuff, but with AI. So I took the old system prompt, I shoved it into Google AI studio, just copy paste it in. I'm just like, Hey man, this is what I was using before, you know, give me something updated for AI. So do that with yours, right? Just take everything I'm giving you, put it into AI and say, Hey, I actually want a newsletter on this or that or whatever. And I'll spit something out. And just be sure to tell it like, hey, keep the output stuff the same because the output stuff is kind of like topic agnostic. It's just telling it how, how I want it to output the data. So we do that, what do we get? We get this giant ball of text. Now we could be done and just shove that into Gmail, but that's gonna look ugly, right? If we just have pure markdown, pure text, it doesn't look pretty. It's not gonna look like this where we kind of got like the shading, there are different boxes, we got the links, right? We want it to actually look nice. So. To that end, we have this code block. Now, this code block takes this text and just puts it into HTML, and it also gives me some nice things about AI news summary, right? It kind of just, you know, does all the bells and whistles. Now, again, are you gonna wanna do artificial intelligence and AI news summary? Do you wanna go through every single line of this and be like, all right, I need to change this to say whatever? Obviously you don't. So again, do what I did. Copy paste this whole thing, go to Gemini, go to ChatGPT and say, hey, this is the code that is taking my you know, AI stuff and turning into pretty HTML for my Gmail, but it's for AI news. I actually wanna keep the code's functionality, but I want it to be for topic X now, and then it should be able to work. And also when you do that, what I tend to do is I'll show it the text as the input um, to kind of just give it some context. So again, with this code thing, when you ever, whenever you wanna like, and this goes for really any workflow in any template, and someone gives you something and you want to like customize it a bit, do what I do, give it to AI, just explain what you're trying to do. So the output should look something like this, email body HTML, right? Just added some nice formatting to it. And now we just have it go to our Gmail. So we're taking that, right? Putting that in the message. And for the subject, we just have it dated. So this obviously is updated every day. Um, and then I just call mine AI report, call it whatever you wish. And email type will be HTML. If you have it set to text, it's gonna look super weird. Um, append the NNN attribution so you don't have some little blurb at the bottom saying this was done with an NNN workflow. And then lastly, whatever email you want to send it to, test the step, and you should see something like this, right? So um, yeah, I think this was obviously a quick one, fairly simple, but I think this is like one of the cool use cases for AI and we're just demonstrating this one. And that use case is I have a bunch of unstructured information and I want it structured and presented in a way that I can actually take it in. And this is a great example of that. I mean, this could go through hundreds and hundreds of articles across tons of websites and every morning it's just in your inbox, totally customized to you and you don't have to do a thing. And the cost on this one is virtually non-existent, right? RSS free, Tably basically free, 40 mini is pennies, fractions of pennies. So um, yeah, let me know how this one works for you. I'd love to know what sort of newsletters you create with this. And you don't, you know, don't be afraid of getting like really in the weeds with the HTML to really make this um, thing pop. So uh, again, as always, let me know if you run into any issues and I'll see you around.